Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about Creature, written by Garth Ennis and illustrated by Stephen Dillon. Um, so I, uh, I read book one. So this is a collection of the first 12 issues of uh, the graphic novel series, the comic book series. Um, there are a lot of different ways to get it. You can get them individually. Uh, there's actually a volume one, which I think has double the amount that, that this one has. Um, but I'm going to talk about what I've gotten so far from book one. I've ordered the rest of them, but I'm not going to do videos on all of them. I'm just going to do videos on book one, uh, just a video on book one. So basically this is the story of a guy named Jesse Custer, who uh, in the first installment is a, a minister in a small town in Texas, Anvil, Texas. Um, he gets inhabited, possessed, bonded with by this entity called Genesis, which was in the captivity of angels, but escaped. Um, Genesis is the offspring of an angel and a demon who fell in love and had sex. And this is a new thing, a new idea that seems to be as powerful as God. And indeed, when Genesis was born, God apparently fled heaven to an undisclosed location. And we get some indications of where that might be, but it's not necessarily confirmed. We have this element of uncertainty. Um, so when Jesse Custer gets possessed by Genesis, it doesn't actually control him or anything like that. So it's not your sort of typical demonic possession type deal. It gives him the power to compel people to obey him. And he, so one, I mean, so Jesse's mission now becomes to locate God because he determines that God has a responsibility for his creation. And by abandoning that creation, God is not living up to that responsibility. And so Jesse determines to hold God responsible. Now, I love this type of storyline, this type of genre of like the anti-hero or vigilante priest or religious leader. I don't know what it is, but there's something about it that I really, really like. The, the holy man anti-hero. I, I find it a fascinating genre. Um, and so that's what we get in Preacher. He is aligned with um, a cohort of, of companions, um, the main one of whom is Tulip, who is his ex-girlfriend, um, and they have a sort of tense relationship now. Um, the other main one, the other main uh, sort of colleague of Jesse's is Cassidy, uh, who is a hundred or so year old Irish immigrant vampire uh, who enjoys drinking and uh, drives around in a crappy pickup truck. So uh, they're a sort of misfit band, but they end up having to sort of face all of these different villains. Um, so initially when Genesis inhabits Jesse, there's this explosion in the church that everyone in the town has, has come to that day. Um, so everyone in town is basically vaporized 
It's just bones left, and the church is mostly destroyed. Jesse is fine. Um, <clears throat> so they are pursued by a pretty twisted, brutal sheriff. One of the things we consistently see in the Preacher series is corrupt and violent law enforcement officials. Um, so the sheriff is racist. He's generally an all-around scumbag type guy. Um, and he pursues them pretty relentlessly. They're also pursued in this opening portion by my favorite character in the series so far. Um, a guy called the Saint of Killers, who is a resurrected Old West gunfighter who basically goes around just killing everybody in his path. Uh, he's invulnerable. Cassidy rams his truck into uh, the Saint of Killers full speed. The truck is destroyed. Cassidy is thrown from the wind through the window, and the Saint of Killers is basically just like, yeah, whatever. A thing happened. I'm still standing. I don't. I didn't even. It didn't even budge me. So this guy is badass. Uh, I think he's really interesting, and I, I do really want to know a lot more about him. And I think later in the series, there's there's more about the Saint of Killers. Um. So they also have to take care of that guy who's been brought back by the angels to try and get Genesis back. And basically, um, Jesse is able to get them out of both of these villains by compelling them. Um, later they face off against a serial killer, um, and then Jesse and Tulip get captured by his weird, fucked up grandma? Who's this, like, Puritan sort of cult leader in charge of these really psychotic thugs, basically? Like, and we learn all about Jesse's upbringing, which was just horrendous. Like, they would, as a punishment, they would put him in a car, and they did this to, to other members of the family as well, like his mother. They would put him in a coffin seal it and just have air tubes um, attached to it and then weight it down and drop it to the bottom of the lake or the bottom of the swamp because this is like east texas louisiana kind of area and just leave him in there for like a week like it's horrendous um and so these are just like terrible fucking insane people um but one of the things that become that is interesting as these characters, um, Jesse and Tulip especially, but Cassidy as well. Cassidy leaves before they, they get captured by the grandmother's thugs. But one of the things that makes these characters really interesting is that they're dynamic. And as things happen, the characters shift. So characters who initially seem like they might be pretty good, pretty fun, jolly characters, well, then you find out that they're actually fucked up serial killers who are murdering a bunch of people because they enjoy it. Or characters that seem like they might be morally good reveal that they've got some sort of dark side. Or characters that seem like pretty straight up, out and out villains reveal that in some way they're actually good. There's something good about them. So we have these dynamic characters, and that's one of the things that's really interesting about the Preacher series. And it's one of the things that, that really kept me reading throughout this first 12 issues. And again, I, I immediately, after, after I finished this, I immediately went and bought the next uh, set of books in, in this collection. But that's one of the things that that Garth Enos has done really, really fantastically well here for me is just creating these dynamic characters and letting the twists and turns of their fate keep, keep me as a reader engaged. 